let's go ahead and see how can we invoke our Google Play service real quick here just to see that things are actually working. Okay, so the first thing I need to do is to go to our manifest file because we're going to be dealing with internet connection going to be dealing with location and so forth, we need to add those permissions. So I'm going to come here, I'm going to say internet, say permission, or uses permission, let's start with internet, like that, let's go ahead and close it down. And then I'm going to use access, I'm going to say uses location. I'm going to use the find location, close that down. And then I'm going to use the uses permission course, location as well like that. Okay, so these are the permissions that we need in order for us to start using our Google Play services. So to test things out here to see if this is actually working, meaning if we our Google Play service is indeed installed and ready to go for our applications here, what I'm going to do here is I'm going to actually invoke the on post resume or on resume of our activity here just to see uh, if things are set up. Now, the reason we used on post is because that's usually where you want to be checking anything related to Google Play and so forth. We could have done somewhere else, but this should be the best place. So I'm going to say on post resume like that. And then here, I'm going to go ahead and invoke a few methods and classes from our Google Play service. In fact, if I'm not able to invoke those classes, that means our setup is not really working. So let's hope it works. So I'm going to say int here, and I'm going to say error code. I'm going to make it equal to Google Play, and voila, we are able to get Google Play classes here. That's very good. So we're going to look at Google Play API availability, which is what we want. And I'm going to say get instance, because it needs to go and get instance. I'm going to say here, is Google Play service available? That first one here, I need to pass a context. The context is going to be, in this case, this, right? Because inside of our activity. All right, so now this will return an integer, which is going to be a, co a code of some sort. So now I'm going to go ahead and say if, okay, error code is not equal to connection. We have this class that we can access from our Google service API, Google Play service here, connection result dot success. Okay, so that is going to look to see if error code is not equal to success. In this case, something is not right. And for us, we're just going to go ahead and create a dialogue. Okay, I'm going to call this error dialogue is equal to Google Play availability again, dot get instance. I'm going to go ahead and get error dialog. So all of this actually is done for us. So we can use our um, Google Play availability class, get that instance and invoke all sort of methods here. So I'm going to just go ahead and do that. And this one, we're going to pass a few things. I'm going to pass this for the activity. And then I'm going to pass error code. And again, error code doesn't really matter at this point, because we're just testing things and I'm going to pass a on cancel listener here. So I'm going to say new on cancel listener, enter and voila. So inside here, let's go ahead and finish our instantiation there. So inside here, it's where we are going to show whatever we want to show um, if we have canceled or this connection here has canceled. So what I'm going to do here, I'm just going to go ahead and say toast, make pass this. And then I'm going to say not. And I'm going to say no services like that. Toast long and don't forget to show. Now it looks like we need to pass something else. Okay, so this has to be I'm going to say main dot this because when you say this, it would think you talk about this class dialogue interface, which is not correct to pass. All right. Very good. So of course, we have dialogue here, don't forget to actually call it, say dialogue that show. All right, very good. So on resume, which is exactly the moment that we have on start and go on resume and go through all the process there all the life cycle, we should be able to hopefully see something. So let's go ahead and run and make sure that we are running our pixel to NuGet, which which is what we created earlier. But if you had created something else that uh, follows the same requirements as we spoke 
earlier, then that should be fine. So I'm going to just use that one, new one. Say OK. Voila. Now, because this is the first time that I'm running this, this will probably pop up. That means we need to update our Google Play service, okay? Because it won't run unless you update Google Play service. Let's go ahead and say update. Now, here for in order for update, for us to update, we actually have to log in with Google account. Okay, so you should have a Google account. If you don't, you can go ahead and create a Google account, but it's necessary for this to happen. So I'm going to go ahead and add my Google account and I'll see you in a second. All right, so here we are. I have logged in. There is my account. So I'm going to just go ahead and say agree. i take a few seconds here. Hopefully it's going to do all the things. I'm just going to go ahead and say next. I'm going to go ahead and say update. Say continue. And take a few seconds. Just notice that installing. Very good. It seems like everything is now installed. I'm going to get out of here. Let's go ahead and rerun this app. And it looks like this doesn't run, which means everything is good. So at this point here, what I can do also, I can just call finish so that if something goes wrong, then we're going to go ahead and finish with this activity. So kill this application at this point. So let's run again. See, things should be fine just to make sure here. Nothing went away. So we still are here. That means everything is great. In fact, I can come down here and perhaps say an else like that just so that it's actually better so I'm going to call this and say all is good okay let's go ahead and run use that all is good that's very good that means indeed uh, our google play uh, services is correctly installed and we're able to get everything done so now i know this took a little bit for setting things up and all this stuff but the good thing is uh, you don't have to go through the whole process once we have as you can see here our emulator set up and everything um, for any project that you create you just have to make sure to add the dependencies and then you're ready to go okay but make sure to follow the screen if if it tells you to update the Google Play services, you have to update it. Otherwise, you're going to run into a lot of issues. And we don't want issues at this point. All right. So I'll stop here because now we know things are set up correctly. And we'll continue in the next video.